Hey guys, this is Melissa with MomSimpleLife.com and today we are out in my uh, pea garden. I started like red radishes on the side and I'm not really to, you know, here to show you how like wonderful it's growing right now. I'm here to show you issues. Issues you may have in your garden and if you look at the six laws of plant growth, number six is uh, don't have your plants competing so it could be from bugs animals different things that will end up ruining your plants so in this case in my bed I have a problem with uh, I believe they're called cutworms or I think some people say they're like grub I guess but I call them cutworms and I did find some uh, earlier in the year they like seedlings and they like seeds and they come into your garden and they end up basically eating the seed before they could even produce or like for an example these over here these brown ones they they came up but then they basically ate the roots out to the point where they're just like not doing so well anymore and they just turned brown and they ended up dying and a lot of these ended up not quite popping up and I went and dug up the seeds and I found that they just did not look so well and I did find quite a few cutworms uh, going through here. I didn't find any the last few days to be able to actually show you what they look like. You can really even see this one. But it started actually growing here, the roots, but then the cutworm came and ate the actual seed part. And then of course it stopped growing. With cutworms and other bugs you have in the garden, you'll find where you have like a whole patch of plants and then no plants at all so basically I have no plants going down here and then I have like three peas or I'll have a whole bunch of red radishes and then I'll get a stream of no red radishes and then I found out what cutworms really like I don't know what article I read it at but they said that they love red radish seeds pea seeds and garlic so <laughs> I have garlic in the center and my peas and then I have my red radishes. So this is basically the country buffet for any cutworms to come and eat everything I just planted. So, but uh, cutworms, they basically, they're not technically worms. They are caterpillar like larvae, uh, larvae, uh, and they'll turn into some type of moth. I'll put the picture up on the screen so you guys could see what they look like and what they turn into. But you could also just sit there and let it go and postpone planting seeds for a while because all the cutworms, uh, they're basically turning uh, into a moth and they'll end up going away because you know they don't live in your soil forever. And then another issue of having cutworms or any type of grub, uh, I think they're called grubs anyways, is, I don't know if you could tell here, but that is soil inside of my sawdust and sand bed right here. And it's kind of really hard to see. I can't even see on this. So, and what happens is you'll end up having moles start showing up in your bed. So I don't know if you could see this, but here, over here where there's like no red radishes no peas it is huge divots of holes like maybe a mole came up to get the the grub and went back down so now i have to re-level this a little bit just to be able to replant my seeds i'm going to wait a little bit longer until i feel like i'm clear of any you know type of bugs that would come back and eat my seeds so another issue I'm having, because I do have the grass still by my bed, we are going to get rid of it because we had a huge problem with bugs and uh, slugs. Uh, I think we're going to put like some uh, weed block material over it. I don't know if you see that. That's actually a red radish. Red radish. And it basically ate the whole top off of my red radish. Every single one. Okay. So it ate basically the top off of my red radishes. Cutworms will come above the soil at night when no one is basically out in their garden and after a rainfall and they will just basically cut, cut clean through your plants. And so that's basically what's happened to a lot of my red radishes. So, I mean, lesson learned for next time that if I find uh, bugs in my garden that I need to take care of them before I start planting seeds and stuff.
but I know this is not a complete loss because last year I planted my seeds late so this is not going to be that big of a deal I do have I think a total of uh, six peas uh, little pea plants I don't know if you could see one there I have six left out of I think the 70 that I planted so I was a little bummed out a lot of them just didn't come up they just got eaten but it's okay I'll just replant and I figure this is a lesson learned for me for next year to keep on top of making sure that my plants don't have you know that six law of competition okay so that's it I hope you guys like this video and uh, if you guys have any questions or any comments please leave it in the comment section below and thank you for subscribing and I'll see you guys next time love you guys bye